everyone, Ace Culpster here with another unboxing video. I'm going to be opening up a box that I'm not too sure what's inside. <laughs> so, I have five boxes in total I'm going to be opening. Anyways, here's the box. So let's open this up, see what's inside. Okay. And what do you know? It's a, it's a laptop. So I bought five laptops? Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. I can't. I guess I bought five laptops. Unless the one package might be just a docking station. <laughs> that might be what it is. Because I bought a laptop that I originally had and I want to restore. And I bought two of the same ones. One was dirt cheap and one I was just intentionally buying just to uh, restore the one I had. But it was a Dell laptop that came with a docking station. So one of them is a docking station. But it might be. Anyways, whatever. Let's just open this. Get out of the way. There it is. So yeah, <laughs> now I remember I bought a Dell Latitude CPI along with one other, possibly two others. I don't remember anymore <laughs> until we get them all unboxed. But this one is all complete. It has, as you can see, the power brick, cord, CD-ROM drive. It already has the battery, the floppy drive in with it. It's complete. You know, it's for 40 bucks. So I had to get it. So yeah, this is what this one is. Open this. Yeah, here's a CD drive. Like I said, I have one or had one just like it. I still have it, but it's uh, in pieces. <laughs> so I want to restore it slash replace it. So I got a couple of these. Plus I got one with the docking station, which is really cool. So I don't know. I, I think they're really nice laptops. They're really good. So yep, here it is. Does it have power? Without the cable? No. Of course not. I don't know what's on it, to be honest, but there's that one. Alright, next box. Get that out of the way. So, all that to the side. Ah, yes, this is one of two of the Toshiba's laptops. Power brick, Toshiba. This thing's a, a monster. Look at it. Oh. 
hear rattling inside. That's not good. Oh well. Anyways, let's open it up. Screen's loose. Obviously, it's been worked on. Does that have power? Nope. Oh, yes, it does. And it came right on. Very nice. And it powered down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it does work. Uh, according to the description. <laughs> it should have Windows XP on it. I'm not too sure. But you know what? Let's find out. I know I didn't do this to the last laptop. But let's just find out right now. All right, it's plugged in. Let's turn off this light here. Let's see what happens. Windows XP Professional. You can tell it's professional because it's a blue loading bar. Rather noisy. I don't know if the camera is picking up that noise or not, but. The screen is okay. It kind of got like a dark spot in this general area, which is probably why they've been taking this apart or whatever. Or maybe they have replaced it. Who knows? Overall, it's a decent uh, laptop. It's all ready to go. It's got Microsoft Office on it. And all this other stuff with it. Hmm. Yeah, the main reason why I bought these laptops is one, like I said, the, with the Dell Latitude, I want to uh, repair slash replace the one that I already had. And these Toshiba ones, I bought two of them. Uh, one was just like really nice looking, which I think is the other one, I'm not too sure. <laughs> and the other one was just like five bucks. So yeah, that's that. Shut this down. Good mess around laptops, do whatever. Alright, on to the next box. This one's just a laptop. No power brick or anything. So yeah, this is basically a parts one. It's got no memory, no hard drive. Just the battery. It's basically the shell and the motherboard. Keyboard, mouse pad. Next one. Got one more after this.
Whoops. <laughs> There's something in that. Still. Power brick was in there. Alright. Power brick. I believe this is the uh, other Toshiba laptop. This one has like a bunch of accessories with it. It has power brick, a wireless adapter, or PCMCI card, I should say. Uh, Toshiba Restore CD. So, yeah, this one comes with everything. And this one, believe it or not, was only five bucks. Got a cool sticker on there of the Southern Ohio Fire and Arson Investigators Association. Same as the last one. Anything? Nope. Although this power brick is a little sketchy because <laughs> the uh, power core has been taped up. Not always a good thing. Actually, it never is a good thing. But, plug it in anyways. See what happens. All right. Battery is lower. CMOS checksum is inconsistent. Uh, either the BIOS is not set properly, or the battery is no longer working. Oh uh, yeah, sure. I'll quit without uh, saving. Microsoft Windows XP Professional. So yeah, these uh, screens aren't the best. As you can see, it just wants to fall right back. It doesn't stay up. But it's whatever. Like I said, these on outstays. These laptops are basically to mess around with. Doing whatever. Testing out operating systems and stuff like that. This also comes with a bunch of stuff. Preloaded onto it. So that is that. It's freezing out. So... I'm assuming there's way too much stuff loaded onto here and it's trying to load everything at once. So I'm going to do it the not recommended way of shutting a PC down, which is holding in the power button, and there we go. <laughs> That's it. Okay, last one. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, finally. <laughs> After all that, it's finally out. Here it is, laptop plus talking station. Removed the laptop. To show you the uh, docking station itself. Still has the protective plastic over the logo, which is pretty cool. Here's the lock it in place and unlock it. Out, uh, power button, indicator lights, and all that. Nothing much to it. It's basically a hunk of plastic. And on the back here, you got the power, VGA, video, printer port, network, serial, two PS2 ports, mouse and keyboard, and two USB ports. So now I have a docking station. Let's put this back on there. Push it back in place. Lock it. Now this doesn't have any batteries or optical drives. So, so yeah, it's uh, powered up. And since we're showing this one, might as well bring the one that has everything with it onto the table as well, and then we can test this one. Okay, take the power cord. Oh, look what I just noticed. Docking station has a port for the uh, headphones. It looks like infrared too. Pretty cool. Because believe it or not, another thing I think is really cool and I like about these laptops too is that they have infrared right here. But yeah, since I'm showing the back side of these laptops, you got parallel port, printer port, USB port, docking station uh, port, serial port, and VGA port, and a PS2 for both mouse and keyboard. Alright, anyways, back to plugging this in. There we go. Okay, it's plugged in, let's see what happens, got power, turn off this light here, Your valid configuration information please run setup program, okay. So, seems to me, yeah, there's no hard drive. Yeah, no hard drive. This hard drive's going to side here, right here. That's a bummer. Oh well. At least it works. Close that one up and test this one out. The one I paid 40 bucks for. Plug in the power, open it up, see here I got the battery indicator, let's see if it holds any charge, I know it wasn't very long that I had it in there, yeah, it held a little bit of charge, so that's a good sign. Well my battery's dying, unfortunately, I thought the uh, camera ran out of time because it has a 30 minute timer on it, and after 30 minutes it stops recording, so anyways. Apparently it doesn't have anything either. But anyways, I quickly just want to say I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any down in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.